Okay, that's it. So test should now be set to whatever the custom property prop1 is set to. Now, why does this line look uh, like this? Now, uh, when you say item custom properties, you have the serializable dictionary. And this is a dictionary with, uh, as we saw, with key type string and value type custom property, which was our wrapper class. Uh, and it had a public field called value of type object. So, in order to be able to use this, you should cast it to something and that's what we do here so we take the value of this custom property and cast it to bool and we check before that this works okay that's basically it and th the same applies to the other custom properties of type um, vector which was property 2 I called it okay so let's check if it's vector 2 and then we parse it to vector 2. That's it. And property 3, so that was property 2. Property 3 was of type item. So let's uh, check if it's of type item. Of course it is going to be, but that's only here for uh, demonstration purposes. So, uh, item, okay, and then we can cast it to item. Let's call it test3. Oh, and here, property3. Okay, that's it. This should work. Now let's just um, put some breakpoints here, here, and here. And um, now since the editor doesn't start the debugger, but it starts the the executable directly. Uh, let's uh, change our fallback solution to level 2 so that we can start it from inside Visual Studio from inside the debugger. Okay, so did I save it? Yes, I saved the level, so this should work. Let's start it. And then we reach the first breakpoint. So test is false and then it is true. So parsing worked. Actually, the item up here was uh, parsed correctly. We have texture one, we have its position, and all this. So, this also worked. So, let's just continue execution until we get here. So, test two first is zero, zero, and after execution, it is five, four. So, that's exactly the value here, five, four. So, this way you can parse. A vector and the same thing for an item so here we have test 3 which is null and after execution of the line you test 3 is an item and it's texture 12 okay so it works it's exactly the item that we refer to in this custom property so this is how you can uh, access your custom properties within your code okay that's basically it um, there is a an example solution included with the um, with the download of the editor which again uh, shows how to do different things uh, I think there's also um, parallax scrolling implemented so that you can uh, take a look at it it could be done and um, that's basically it um, that was uh, video tutorial 3 how to use uh, the levels created with Gleet 2D in your own uh, applications um, and if you have any uh, comments or any feedback feel free to post it either here on YouTube or over um, at the forums on the official website of uh, the editor which is www.gleet2d.de So, see you there and thanks for watching.